Many organizations wish to radically improve the way they work. They want to replace hierarchy and bureaucracy with improved motivation, speed, and agility. But becoming a progressive workplace is not easy, as it requires a completely new approach. Outdated assumptions must go, and the status quo should be challenged. A select group of pioneers has cracked the code. They show how to make a successful transformation. In this video, we'll explore three successful change strategies. First, bottom-up strategies. When there is no top-down mandate, change needs to be inspired. Such an approach was pioneered at Dutch e-commerce company Bol.com. 30 employees, about 1% of the workforce, unleashed a movement that has transformed ways of working. There are three phases. One, locating individuals and teams that are eager for change. Focus exclusively on them. Two, let pioneers experiment and change small things first. Meeting structures, decision-making processes, and individual roles and responsibilities. If an experiment succeeds, move on. If not, learn from errors and adjust course. Three, initiate a public change movement in the hope to go viral. Vlogs, blogs, presentations, meetups, pamphlets, and online platforms build momentum and create enthusiasm. As the movement grows, more people will jump on the bandwagon. Second, a change strategy combining top-down and bottom-up approaches. These are change strategies driven by leadership and the rest of the organization. Such an approach has been deployed by housing association United Welsh. There are four phases. One, the leadership team outlines what they are looking to achieve. They launch a project team to drive change and invite everyone to join. Two, the project team then splits into smaller groups which visit progressive organizations to explore their work practices. Their research generates a list of recommended changes which is presented to the entire organization. Three, the recommendations must be brought into reality. Start with the easy ones to build trust. Changes are sponsored by leadership, but driven by the project team. Four, once the first changes are implemented, the process repeats. Over time, simple changes are followed by those that push boundaries. Third, participatory top-down strategies. One highly successful approach was pioneered by K2K, the Spanish transformation company. Over the past decade, they have transformed over 50 organizations. The five phases. One, the owners and CEO must go all in before any transformation starts. The CEO must agree to be replaced should they obstruct a successful transformation. Two, the company is shut down for two days so that employees can visit other progressive companies. After this, they are invited to vote anonymously. The transformation process will start provided that more than 80% of the workforce is in favor. Three, once the owners, CEO, and 80% of the employees have committed, the change process officially kicks off. It first gauges the hopes, dreams, and fears of employees to generate ideas, understand challenges, and find out what people want. Four, based on this input, a new organizational plan is presented to the workforce. This always includes a structure based on self-managing teams, a reduction of pay difference via a new reward policy, the distribution of 30% of profits to employees, introduction of full transparency on performance and all financials, the removal of privilege and control mechanisms, and the introduction of a new business rhythm. Five, these changes are implemented at once. The new organization is in place and K2K's team supports the transition for as long as necessary. 
Most of the work is usually completed within two years. Each approach has its pros and cons and depends on the specifics of the situation. There is no one-size-fits-all approach. It takes time, effort and dedication to create a highly progressive organization. But, as various pioneers have shown, the results can be truly exceptional. Learn more at corporate-rebels.com slash academy.